the thing about Godzilla, which is extra special to me, is that it can be that kind of subway monster, loud, scary, and it burns you with its atomic breath and everything like that, right? But culturally, when it came to the United States, it took on a different kind of life. You see, in Japan, monsters since time immemorial have not necessarily been these evil, scary creatures. They are just a non-human creatures. And as a result, they can be different from humans in ways that you can find in literature, in stories, in mythology, that allows you to tell things, much like the gods of Olympus did, say, in ancient Greek times, about things that we don't understand and are trying to understand, not just of nature, but of human nature. Going back to Greece and Rome, yeah. are you suggesting, for example, that in our 88 constellations of yes. the sky, there are non-human creatures up there that you might think of as a monster. We have centaurs and Yes, we minotaur. have Draco the dragon. The Draco the wrapped dragon. around the North Star. Yeah, and Ocasus. we have a minotaur, which is yep. like half bull. That's right. Half, those guys, that, because if one of those showed up at my front door, I'd be scared. Yeah. <laughs> those are pretty monstrous <laughs> but, too, right? But they're not portrayed as scary. They're just right. non-human things. Yes, and that is precisely how I see monsters based on that kind of cultural thing.